The test crew waited in the cold, pre-dawn hush as the tailless. J-36 rolled out of its hangar, its matte black skin swallowing the floodlights. No one spoke. The program was still officially non-existent, and even among those, cleared to see it. The jet inspired a quiet awe. When the pilot climbed in and sealed the canopy, the J-36 came alive with a low electric hum, its engines still dark. The ground team stepped back as the lights flickered across the runway. And then, at last, the nozzles shifted. They moved with the smooth, controlled grace of a creature waking up, each segment flexing as if testing its own limits. Unlike conventional vectoring systems, these nozzles curved and rotated with a fluid, almost organic precision, angling in ways that shouldn't have been possible on a rigid airframe. From behind, the view was hypnotic, a pair of openings reshaping themselves like pupils adjusting to light. The pilot gave a brief radio confirmation, and the engines ignited. Instead of the usual hard roar, the thrust unfurled in a tight, controlled plume directed sharply downward, then outward, then back to center. The jet lifted slightly, as if balancing on invisible hands. The onlookers had studied the theory for years, supermaneuverability, radar masking exhaust shaping, high-altitude agility. But seeing it in motion was different. This wasn't an incremental advance. It looked like something from a future war movie, except it was real and right there in front of them. With a sharp rise in pitch, the J-36 accelerated, sliding down the runway and climbing almost vertically, the nozzles tilting mid-ascent. To twist the aircraft through a corkscrew, it shouldn't have survived, let alone executed smoothly. When the jet disappeared into the clouds, the team exhaled almost simultaneously. Not one of them doubted it. Whatever else the world thought it knew about next generation. Stealth fighters, the J-36 had just rewritten the rules. Thank you so much watching this video and please like this video.